we need to do what is possible and whatever means we can to be helpful. Thursday marks three weeks since Russia began its war on Ukraine, decimating cities and killing and displacing civilians in the process. Now over three million Ukrainians have fled the country. Ukraine is in the midst of a humanitarian crisis, with many Central and Western European countries taking in refugees. Here in Winnipeg, many are preparing for the arrival of those refugees from Ukraine. A step forward today as applications for the Canada-Ukraine authorization for emergency travel was opened by the federal government. That is, you know, no worse. It's just a terrible, terrible things are happening there. Omar Rahimi and his family were former refugees themselves. They lived in a refugee camp in Iraq before moving to Winnipeg in 2001. My family suffered for many, many years, man, you know, and uh, it is not good. To, so now when you see the war happening and it's a lot of memories come back and it's, it's very stressful for us uh, to see people suffer like that, uh, similar to us, right? In 2016, Rahimi started Hire a Refugee, a project aiming at helping newcomers find work. It could be any job. It could be coaching soccer team. It could be joining the soccer team, it could be shoveling snow, it could be uh, painting, garbage removal, uh, things that doesn't need a lot of English usually, and a lot of hard work, easy work, doesn't matter, all kind of jobs. Rahimi says he wants to pay it forward, help out these refugees, just as he and his family were helped when they settled in Winnipeg. We are going to go above and beyond to help them. If they have a chance to come here, we'd be more than happy to help. Rahimi says the war in Ukraine is bringing back memories of their journey. It is tough, man, to see those people in Ukraine to a similar situation with us. It's uh, just heartbreaking. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpacity News.